Good morning. This is Daily Hebrew Declarations with Daniel Jedediah Cook, and I'm reading the declaration for today, April the 26th, 2021. The three Hebrew letters we're honoring today are Ayin, Nun Final, and Shin. Along with those three living letters, we're also honoring the spirit of counsel, the spirit of knowledge, and the spirit of might. The declaration today reads this, a letter of empathy, allowing you to see through the eyes of another, the finishing of an upright righteous son with their purpose, the housing of the very offspark of Yahweh within ourselves. Now this morning as I was meditating on today's declaration, you know, Michelle brought up another aspect of this that truthfully I hadn't really thought about, at least not from this perspective, and it really has stirred me this morning. The fact that Ayin can be seen as a letter of empathy. You know, many times I have I have been, uh, during our School of the Living Letters and other times, I have talked about this place of the diamond of Yahweh. You guys have heard me talk about it here on the Daily Declarations some as well. But when I look at it from the perspective of the diamond of Yahweh, I realize that each and every one of us, now, please note, this means everyone saved and unsaved. That everyone in the entire, entire world, Yahweh has given us, given each one of us, a spark, a yachida. Now, the yachida is the, the very awe spark of Him that has been placed in every one of us. And so, in that place, each one of us have the light of Yahweh that's on the inside. Now, some of those are covered over. They, are, they have been veiled, if you will, to a certain extent. To those who are lost, that, that light, that echida, has been veiled off and can't be seen. Or at least not by, by those who are looking through the eyes of the flesh. But through the eyes of the Spirit, we can see past that veil and see into the place where we see the light of Yahweh. Now for me, that kind of changed everything when, when Yahweh began to show me that. Because one day... And I've told this story here before, but that's okay. I'm going to tell it again because it, it fits perfectly with today, and it's a beautiful story anyway. But the day that Yahweh reached out his hand and asked me to step inside of him and to see through his eyes, and the first thing that I noticed as soon as I saw through his eyes was the immense love that he had for everyone. But at the same time, as I was looking through his eyes, it was almost as if I could see through the eyes of other people. There were, in other words, what I mean by that is that there was almost immediately someone who came to my mind that just really didn't like me and didn't like anything about me and never knew exactly why because never really had a, a severe run in or anything like that, but they just plain and simply didn't like me. And my heart went out to that person almost immediately because, because it seemed as if there was, uh, I could see past the rough exterior. I could see past the things that seemed to be blocking and still love that person, no matter what. Because for me, the way I'd always been taught was that if somebody didn't like me, well, then I'd just stay away from them. And the truth is, is that I can only do as honor will allow me to do. Because again, if someone chooses, now listen carefully to this, because if someone chooses to step away, and chooses not to be a part, honor dictates that I honor that. I can still love them, still love them with my actions, still love them with my words, you know, and, and see, that's that's the part of it. See, that's that's kind of doing things in the hidden, kind of doing things in the secret, if you will, where even when you are honoring someone's choice to step away, Whenever you speak of that person, you speak of them in love. Whenever you speak of the, of the situations, you speak of them with joy and thankfulness. Now, I know that's sometimes really, really hard to do, but we're talking about empathy here. We're talking about Ayin allowing us to see past something where we begin to see the empathy. In other words, we put ourselves into their shoes. We see through their eyes. You see, just as I see through the eyes of the Father... If the light and the echida of, of Yahweh is in every person, can I not see through their eyes as well? If I choose to. Now, is Yahweh going to reveal to me their deep, dark secrets? I, no. Not, I don't, to be honest with you, I really don't want to know those things. 
What I want to know is, is the fact that I can see through theirs and, and speak to the Yahweh that's inside of them. That's the part I'm talking about. You see, it's in this place that, that really we begin to realize how much we need one another, how much each and every one of us are absolutely necessary. Why would I say to my foot, I have no need of you, foot. I am a hand. I can do everything I need to do. Well, unless I plan on walking on my hands everywhere I go, I need my feet, right? What about the head? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of paraphrasing scripture here, but what about the head say to the rest of the body? Hey, I'm the, I'm the brain here. I don't need you, body. But who would, who would walk that head? Where would that head go if the body wasn't there to be able to be a part of? You see, each part is necessary. Each part has a job. Each part has a, has a place that it, that it operates from. And in the place that if, if I, as I am in the body, not if, but as I am in the body of Yahweh, then each part becomes necessary. And I honor each part. You see, this is the beginning of, of really being a, an upright and righteous son and fulfilling their purpose. You know, stop and think about it just for a moment. And what if the purpose that Yahweh has created for you to be is in to help that one who doesn't like you, who doesn't, who doesn't want to be around you? Have you ever thought that, that maybe the purpose is is to to tear down to help tear down walls and you don't even have to tear down walls by doing something love honor respect all of those things will tear down walls without having to confront or anything else now i'm not saying don't confront either so you listen to holy ghost with what i'm saying today i'm just offering a different perspective when it looks when you look at things like this because in that place, we then house the very offspark of Yahweh within ourselves, the very Yahida of Yahweh. That's what she's talking about here. From the very beginning to the very end of this, it's talking about this place that we each have the Yahida of Yahweh in us. What is Yahida? Yahida is the fire, the passion, the beauty, the love, the expression in what he is is giving to us and what and who we are in him and who he is in us the fact that each part is absolutely necessary the fact that each one of us is operating together as one i'm not going to say to my foot i have no need of you i'm going to say thank you foot thank you foot for being willing to take the load of all the rest of the body and to carry us from one place to another that's why the steps of a righteous man are ordered of the Lord, because the feet take on a lot of responsibility. They carry a lot of weight. And, and, and it takes us from one place. So then my hands can now do something. My mouth can now speak, or it can be in the earshot of people who need to hear. So you see what I'm saying? It's, it's putting ourselves into the eyes and looking through the eyes of another, because you know, just as I, I told you guys the story the other day, but I'll repeat it one more time, where there's a place in the Talmud that talks about where Yahweh is talking to the people of, of Israel, and he's talking to the people who were there during the time of Messiah. And he says this, if it is wonderful in the eyes of the remnant of those people, it will also be wonderful in my eyes. Man, you talk about a responsibility that came over me when I realized that my choices and the way that I saw things would be the choice that Yahweh was making in and through me. Let me say that one more time, because that's exactly what hit my spirit, man. And I realized how I needed to begin to change with the way that I saw things. The moment that I realized that what I saw and the choices that I made and the choices the way that I saw things were also the way that he saw those things through me and he would allow his revelation to come through me. Ooh, you see what I mean? There is a, there, there's this place of standing and being and knowing who we are. But I have a choice. I have a place that I need to choose to wait as to the way that I see something. I choose to see something through the eyes of the Father. I choose to see people through the eyes of the Father. I choose to look for the Yahida of Yahweh in every single person. 
and operate from that place and speak to that light, join together with that light and operate together with that light. Thankful for that light, thankful for that joy, thankful for that peace, and and thankful that, that we all work together as one.